Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss population and sample proportions, confidence interval and margin of error. Here we can use statistics to make inferences about population from a sample of population. Now let us define population and sample proportions. First of all, let us see population proportion. It is a ratio of members of population with a particular characteristic to the total members of population and it is denoted by small letter P. It is mean of population and now let us see sample proportion it is ratio of members of sample of population with a particular characteristic to the total members of sample now if x is the number of individuals with a particular characteristic in the sample and n is the total number of individuals in sample then sample proportion is given by p hat which is equal to x upon n where p hat is sample proportion or mean of sample. Now suppose we know the sample mean and we want to estimate population mean or proportion. Now See, when we have sample such that n is greater than 30 and we take sample samples of same size and then we estimate population proportion from sample proportion then value of population proportion will not be a particular number because there is a difference between the actual or true value and the estimated value. It means there will be a small error in this calculation and this error is called margin error. Now to cover up this error, we will find a range in which the true value of the population proportion will lie. Thus, it will be an interval. So we find an interval which will include value of population mean or population proportion. And these intervals are called confidence intervals. Now let us see how we can find these confidence intervals. Now whenever we have sample of size n greater than 30, the sample distribution is always normal distribution. 
So we have normal curve for the distribution. So this is the normal curve and we know the sample mean x bar. Now we want to estimate population mean mu which is same as population proportion which is denoted by small letter p. Now mu may be equal to x bar and it may not be equal to x bar and to cover up this difference we consider 95% of area under normal curve now here this yellow shaded portion represents 95% of area under this normal curve and we assume that the true value of the population will lie in this interval that is from x bar minus 2 sigma to x bar plus 2 sigma thus we take 95% confidence intervals. Now, in some cases, we take 99% or 90% confidence intervals, but generally, we take it to be 95%. Now, formula for calculating confidence interval is sample mean plus minus margin of error but more precisely the following formula is used to find the range of population proportion P for 95% confidence intervals and that is P hat minus 2 into square root of P hat into 1 minus P hat the whole whole upon N is less than P is less than P hat plus 2 into square root of p hat into 1 minus p hat the whole whole upon n where p represents population proportion P hat represents sample proportion and N represents size of sample. So in this session we have discussed population proportion, sample proportion, confidence interval and margin of error. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.